just going to run out of fairway. It's better than in that bunker on the right-hand side where she's been most of this week. Plenty of noise for Nelly. The best player in the world, and she's played like it, as in her previous three Solheim Cup matches this week. Out first, setting the tone. Left. That is way left by Corda, and it's still tracing away. Well, it went down towards those three trees there. Mm. First hole, Megan Kang. Six iron from one six six for Megan Kang. It's exactly what she's done all week in four balls. Now she's out there by herself, but normal service has been resumed. To the first, Megan Kang, birdie put, and to win the hole. First bit of red on the board, courtesy of Megan Kang. Has never been behind in a match this week and isn't about to... Gap wedge for Charlie. Come back. Oh, we're in for a treat today. Give, give. No. And a first opportunity for blue on the board for Charlie, leading the way for Europe in style. One up through the opening two holes. And if there is a weak spot for Nelly Corder, it is potentially Georgia Hall with a birdie putt at the third. Two up already. Downhill, left to right for Hall. She's walked it in. What a start from Georgia Hall. Picking up where she left off alongside Char. Rose Zhang, who also lost that first hole. Hers to Carlotta Siganda. We know this pin. Keep it left, take it up towards the pin. About here. And let it trickle down. That's beautifully played. Have the discipline to play away from a pin, knowing that it will roll down. Seven iron here for Georgia. Back left pin. She's dialed in. She's woken up on the right side of the bed this morning. About to go out in a moment. 31 making her rookie appearance. Georgia Hall. Goes three up on Alison Lee. What a start from the English player. Three up through four holes. But that side eye. Has somehow got to match Georgia Hall. Looked a good swing. And it was a good swing. She had such a great swing, but her, you, you can see, can't you, by her demeanour when she loses confidence and she, she gets... We'd hope a formality as far as Europe are concerned. Well, it's difficult to tell exactly how far this is, but I'm surprised that wasn't given. Yeah, well done, Maya. Yeah, I'm with you there, Mickey. Still, Maya doesn't mind. She's one up through one. No, you... She can... Make sure she doesn't get the chance to tie the hole if she rolls this in. Well, and how many putts does she hold going right in the centre? They haven't dropped in the edge. Takes Just... a bit of that blue off the board. Yeah, I've... impressive from Lex. We'll move up to five. We're Anna Norquist already two down to Alison Corpus. Fantastic. That's a way to cut into the lead. Don't have to use your putter. That was brilliant. And a hug from the newly married Jack Clark, the husband of Madeline Sagstrom. Look at this from Anna Norquist. She's been one of the stars of Team Europe. And that's the first hole out we've seen from Team Europe this week. Incredible that was, wasn't it? Holding on. Lydia Vu. 
Up against Albaum Valenzuela. They tied the first hole. We all know what happens here at second. Knock it down this left side, then watch it get closer. Look at this. It's a lovely hole, isn't it? What a great design. And we've seen that time and time again. There'll be somebody, well, there won't be. There aren't that many players left. Who's, I was going to say who's going to hole out. It's a bit like the 12th hole at Finca Cortes and when the. Who has turned things around nicely in her match against Celine Boutier, putting first for Birdie. She's done it. Well, if this is to be her farewell, she wants to go out on a high. Incredible. It never looked anywhere else from the moment she hit it. It was one place. Carry something like this, you might want to think again. Rose Zhang, just for birdie. Birdie putt still to come for Saganda. Oh, she's done it again. Well, this is a, f a great five minutes, isn't it, for the Americans? I mean, it's putt after putt. Oh, birdie, birdie to win. Just fantastic golf. Leanna Maguire for a birdie. What a lovely approach at the first. And she has yeah. taken the first. She's been away a little while. Back with a bang. So here's Alban Valenzuela, who's one down to Lilia Vu. This set the third hole from the trees. She's just missed that bunker. That is an extraordinary shot. Well, we're seeing everything this afternoon, aren't we? Just fantastic by up. Back in a groove, it seems. She certainly was on the uh, first hole. Let's see what she's got for us at the second. Here we go, here we go. We've seen this one before. Well, what a start by Leona. That is wonderful. Leave me out. Leave me out. How dare you? <laughs> and that false front, that steepness of the green. You have to be long here, pitching wed for Charlie. Another really good iron shot by Charlie. She's playing so well this morning. Just what she needed to do. That was lovely. She's so impressive. A long game. She told it to sit. That was excellent. Charlie does know this line, so it'll be right to left, and then it will straighten up as the speed picks up towards the lake. Put for a two, and to go four up. Brilliant. It's a, a contrast of on the greens. Charlie's putting brilliantly, and Nelly can't make a putt. Charlie Hull goes to four up after 11. Sagstrom also to win the hole. In the heart of it. Rajkop. Leona Maguire, two up through four holes. Leona means lion, and she's fighting. Maya Stark has a putt to win the hole and to go three up on the sixth. Well, she's such a streaky player, isn't she? She can she can putt quite brilliantly and then she goes through spells where she can't make anything, but... Lexi Thompson, birdie put here on seven. Nowhere else. Are you sure you don't want to play in one of these again, Lexi? We'll miss you. This is... Um, as good as I've seen Lexi putt this week, she would you do after gifting her opponent that last hole. Well, she was in control of this match. Now with Lee in tight, needs to respond here. Oh, what a great line, and that got it to sit at the back of the green. Will it come back down the slope? 
and Hall will be first to put, but Roger Hall, remember, Lee's in closer than she is. Brilliant. Pressure exerted there by Georgia Hall. That was clutch. And coming back from that error, the unforced error that she made in gifting. For Birdie. Charlie Hall for Birdie. Nelly Corder has already made a part. Charlie is charging! Incredible. What a performance by Charlie Hall. She's hardly missed a thing on the greens. Oh, catch your breath. Right, back to Valenzuela. Birdie put and to win the hole. It's tracking, it's tracking. Well done. Still fighting, isn't she? So even if you are down to win the hole. to tied for Esther Henselite. I mean, this match is two in or throw, and we haven't had a half hole in five. What a good shot that was. Keep on coming. Using the backstop here, Charlie Hull. It's getting closer and closer. He's going to have a look. Sensational by Charlie. Absolutely sensational. She's set up to play that shot that she plays so often. That right to left. She's five up with five to play. Nelly Corden needs to hold this to carry the match on. No wonder she's smiling, no wonder she's strutting her way down this fairway. Schmelzel, third shot here from the upslope of the bunker. Oh, that's delightful and finds the bottom of the cup. Schmelzel's on the comeback. Tied now through seven. Richard made the made the comment early in the week. Yeah, well done, Charlie. Sensational stuff from Charlie Hull. That really was a brilliant display, absolutely brilliant. A statement win for Charlie Hull, sent out in the top match against the world number one. She was incredible. Charlie charged to an early lead and never let up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Played five matches this week. Shown strength, shown courage. She's now won three points in a row on Saturday and Sunday. Remember when she beat... Alban Valenzuela is really fighting in this match. She's got it back now to tied with Lilia Vu. Europe needs plenty of that. Needs some of the rookies like Esther, um, Alvin Valenzuela and Esther wins an event. I, think bit, but I still think that we may yet see, I mean, we saw Suzanne Pedersen play another Solheim Cup, even though she had stepped away and only played three what LPGA Tour events in 18 months. I think that's gonna be the win there. For Esther Hensel, like, yeah, she's now gone two up over Andrea Lee, the German rookie. So, although the way I suppose Alison Lee did a little bit with Georgia Hall. Look where she's aiming, way right, trying to catch the slope. Needs some check. Oh, it came out nicely. And she's left it below the hole. Any good Georgia Hall, that was class. Remember, the US only need three and a half more points to put some more blue on the board. Oh, yeah. Madeline Sandstrom. And that's impressive because Schmelzel has just won two holes on the bounce to get that back to tie. Well, there's not been. Have we, we haven't had a half. Maya Stark seems to have her putting boots on today. 
<laughs> doesn't she? This is incredible. It really is. There's nearly two strokes different in their stroke average this year between Stark and Coglan. But we're not playing stroke play. It's match play. And very, very impressive, that. Superb up and down. Dormy now. Four up, four to play for George. And now, one up, playing the par three ninth. That's the leave, isn't it, on nine? The uphill try. Radar. This to go two up on Ali Ewing. Well, we've missed it, haven't we, really, in this 2024 edition of the Solheim Cup? Europe's MVP, as they call her, most valuable player. This to go four up with four to play. Oh, it's huge from Alison Corpus. That could be the moment right there. A birdie on the 14th hole, her lucky hole, her favourite hole. Paula Crema is ecstatic. Don't push her in that water, still needs to play a bit. Look at this moment. Look at the crowds behind as well. That hole. It's been nothing short of magical for Alison Corpus. Roseanne, who's close to closing out her. And this is the player who you would think is about to put the next point on the board. Five wood from one, nine, four. Flushed it into the middle of the green and watch this come down. Well, if you're going to finish the match, you may as well do it in style. Roseanne miss 100%. Solheim Cup. No Swiss players won a point in a Solheim Cup. Playing the world number two. That's a lovely putt. Huge that. The rookie is coming good. She is just fighting her way in this singles match. Tied through 12 holes against. Now that's it. The USA edge a little closer to the magic number of 14 and a half points. They're one and a half away now. Alison Corpus with a four and three victory over Anna Norquist. Norquist played really well this week, two points, but she's been outgunned there by last year's US Open champion. It hasn't been our best hole, has it? We've had some good ones. The opening hole. Lynn Grant, chance to get into that cup show lead a little bit more from three down to only one down now and that is very different you know i kind of when i came not because it didn't actually bite sarah schmelzel to win the hole at 12. she's had some moments today hasn't she had some moments today sarah schmelzel a rotten Saturday is turning into a super Sunday. She's tied it up against Madeline Sancher. Well, this is incredible stuff. I mean, she so struggled yesterday. I mean, she was... Yeah! Now, that's Lynn Grant. Well, I tell you, we haven't seen much of that from her this week, but, boy, she suddenly found something. Back to all square. That is terrific. We'll have a putt to win the hole, as has Valenzuela at 13. She's done it. What a putt by Valenzuela. She couldn't buy a putt on Friday. She can't miss, it seems, on Sunday. Well, it's not known to be her... Just as you were saying about that predictor, it changes literally after each shot at the moment. Well, that's an excellent shot from Satchin. That is a magnificent shot from Satchin. Oh. Of an Evian-like shot, isn't it? Ball above your feet. Very much so. Evian, where she won her major. She likes it. And that's she the kind of it. shot she was playing. Yeah, she was staring that one down. You can tell by a player's reaction whether they're pleased with it or not. And that was dead aimed at the pin. And she...
She's got it. Brilliant. When she absolutely needed to, she was up to the task. What a comeback by Boutier. Pat on the back from Colin Can. She wasn't going to miss that one, not after what happened at the last screen. Madeline Sackstrip to win the hole. Well, I mean, within the space of a minute, there's a massive swing back to Europe. Well, look at this. Look at the graphic on that right-hand side. In, in Scotland, she, you know, won that silver medal in Paris. She's become a, a big-time player. She needs to be one here in the battle against Andrea Lee. Just three holes to play, and she's one up. You heard somebody say, get tight. Oh, what a great shot. Getting inside your partner like that. That was a good shot by Leah now. Got a decent read she's going to get as well. Absolutely. She's loving this. She's had a smile on her face. All a reaction to the situation, I'm sure. Jennifer Cupcho's over the green here. So Lynn Grant with another opportunity to really flip this match. Oh, she's hit the flag. That's so unlucky. Well, if she hadn't, that would have been so much closer. That hurts. Charlie Hull, wasn't it? Almost Charlie Hull-like. Talking of rookies. Sarah Schmelzer likes that one. Gets her match back to tied and the 14th hole. If the Americans do win the Solheim Cup, there'll be a plaque on it. They... Big moment in this match, a big moment on this day, a big moment in this Solheim Cup. And she's up to it. What a putt that was. Incredible. Well done, Esther Henselite. Oh, a little puff of the cheeks there. That is... This would take them one up in one of them. No, no she's right. pulled it. And I'm not sure that that will be conceded. I don't think it will either. Not at this stage of the match. It's not a, a dead straight putt. Well, well, well. I mean, what a putt that is from Hensel. I mean, really, I mean, I said at the time that the, the fate of the Solheim Cup could rest with that putt. She misses it, and, you know, Stacey Lewis's team are, are guaranteed another half a point. Now it's, it's going down 18, and Europe will not be going to that 18th trailing in this. Well... This isn't in the hole yet. Yeah, well done. Remains tied then. Heading to 18. All to play for, as it is overall. What a Solheim Cup. It's a light from 110 yards. Needs a birdie. in the match alive, Esther Henselite into 18. Needs to turn this one around, all square at the moment. Second shot. Coglin's on the green. Stark just trying to cut across this one, club twirl. Looking it down, up and down. Keep on coming, Maya Stark has just turned up at the Solheim Cup. Look at those blue eyes piercing there. Boot to tie the hole with Alban Valenzuela. I thought she'd done it. Well, two up with not three holes remaining. Alban Valenzuela on that 18th green. Soft, 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 soft. Oh, Colin Cowan asked it to stop the ball. Listened. What about that from Celine Boutier on the 18th hole? Game on. <laughs> the dream is still alive for the Europeans. The comeback is complete for Celine Boutier against Lexi Thompson. Birdie in on the last, winning the 18th hole in match seven.
What a cut. What a comeback. Three down. Comes back to win with the final cut on the 18th green. Absolutely fantastic. That really was Maybe that's put her back in control. A hole that's been good to the Americans. But it's been good to the Europeans now. Magic from Maguire. Three up with four to play. Some big moments for Europe in the last start first to play. Yeah, she needs to put this close to put the pressure right back on the Americans. saw that didn't we i don't know if that's a combination of that breeze picking up and adrenaline or i mean it, it wasn't a full shot it was a field shot she just hit it through the distance that she wanted to in her match against ali ewing this to complete the job and the lady who just knows how to get it done in the solheim cup does it in the singles for europe leona mcguire So, so gutsy. What a putt that is from Maya Stark. Well, even I couldn't watch in there because I feared for Maya Stark. Imagine three putting the last to lose. And I think in the end, a tied match is exactly what these two deserve. And it's not over yet for Europe. And also, that was something that would live with her and haunt her the rest of her career, wouldn't it? And, you know... Congratulations as well to Lauren Coghlan. Three and a half points this week. And the USA, like in Spain... Four yards. Lie looks a lot flatter than Albans. Doesn't get much better than that. That's the shot that could win the Solheim Cup. The smile's back on Stacey Lewis's face. The putt at 17, and then the approach at 18 from Lilia Kartu Duvu to give her a full title. Just leave it to me, girls. Done it in majors, and now has she done It hasn't gone. It's come up short, and it seems so will Europe. Over to Lilia Vu. It was a good part, Sophie. I think the two rookies of Esther and Alban leaving themselves them uphill pots, getting the lines and just a few rolls short. Lilia Vu, I think. A couple of feet into the hole, and the United States win the Solheim Cup. Yeah! It's coming back to the United States for the first time in seven years. The Solheim Cup will be in the hands of the USA. Lilia Vu with the winning moment, but what a match it has been. Well, it's victory in Virginia for the United States, but the Europeans have them doubting it, and that is why they are so excited, because for moments out there, for the last couple of hours, it was on an edge. But Stacey Lewis has spoken about unfinished business to these 12 players. She gave them the T-shirt, but they've been there, done that, and they've got the T-shirt now. Business is complete as far as Team USA is concerned. Well, Suzanne Pedersen can do nothing but shake hands with the winning team. But what a match, what a, a fabulous advertisement for women's golf. And the Solheim Cup may be in the US hands, but it, it's delivered once again as a spectacle. It just never lets you down. Look at the emotion there for Lilia Vu. She's won two major championships, and she's overcome right now.
birdie, birdie finish. And then this is a player that's been out injured. She's either injured or she's winning, isn't she? I think Suzanne will be proud. The last two days of golf has been phenomenal by Europe. Once again, that Friday morning foursomes, they only got one point. They got zero points in Spain. They ended up getting it back, but that was going to be some mission to do that on American soil. Yeah, I mean, there were periods through the last few days where it looked like Europe might be blown away, but they have shown that fighting spirit. And that is a lovely moment, isn't it? Two Solheim Cups opponents, but great friends and great sportsmanship alike for both Stacey Lewis, who is now in tears. It's the shortest of parts, but has the biggest of meaning. Yeah! It's been a year, hasn't it? Of everybody talking about it was tied, but you didn't yeah! win it. Stacey Lewis has lived and breathed this Solheim Cup as a captain. Doing it two times and getting that win. And this is the noise that feeds back so that Sarah Schmelzel knows back at 17 that they've won it. Jennifer Cupcho, Angela Stanford, she's realising that she's doing it. One up through 15 for Cupcho. But you don't need your point. That's relief, joy. All that hard work, all those hours, looking at the numbers when you're Stacey Lewis. I mean, she had a hard time as a player as well in this Solheim Cup, and this is her moment. And if USA don't win this Solheim Cup, they go four times without holding the crystal, there'd be a lot of questions asked, but they got the win today. I think we're going to hear from the player that's just hold the winning part at the Solheim Cup in a, in a moment. Lydia Vu's got the American flag wrapped around her shoulders. It's left on the golf course. Lynn Grant is playing against Jennifer Cupcho, and this is Jennifer to win the match. Has never been down. There's Cupcho. Looking for her first point of this year's Solheim Cup. And she's got it. She's got it. Put another point on the board for Team USA. And all 12 want to contribute to this. 11 have done so. Ali Ewan might feel slightly down, but they will pick her up and they will take her to this party. Look at that. First one in, Ali Ewan. That's great. Yeah, and she didn't win a match in Spain last year either. Sackstrom closes it out on 18, and that completes the points tally in this Solheim Cup. Madeleine Sackstrom makes it 15 and a half, 12 and a half. Sackstrom one up victory over Sarah Schmelzel. Well, we the team, the 12 players, the assistant captains, the skipper herself in the center, waving the flag. They've waited a long time for this. Seven years since Des Moines. And as a European, I could sense the coming together of America. It looks so much more natural now. Personalities are coming out. Nellie Corder, what we've seen from her this week, it's different. Who bleeds red, white and blue. Can you describe this moment, what it means to win and get the cup back right outside the nation's capital. Uh, no words can explain. I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy to be here and so proud of my team and the captains. And we all just came together this week and we knew from the start that we had a special team and a special group of girls. Um, it was incredible, just the chemistry that we all had. And they played such amazing golf. And I was just happy to be a part of it and hopefully bring that good energy. 
It's never easy. It looked like everything was set up for a victory for you guys, but it still came down. You have to run through the finish line. How tedious and tension filled was it at the end? And what were you trying to do to ensure that they could pull it out? Oh, very tedious. I mean, the whole week, but we knew coming into the week, the Europeans have so much talent and they bring their A game. They drop some putts on us and we know that we have to bring our A game too and um, just top them on top of that. So um, we knew we had to come in here and make a lot of birdies and um, play our best and and we did so so we're happy about that and yeah congrats on a great team effort go enjoy it with your with here at Robert Trent Jones Golf Club, one that got a little bit closer than I think everyone expected over this closing stretch on Sunday. But in the end, it was the U.S. team that emerged victorious, winning back the Solheim Cup for the first time since 2017. I'd like to welcome in John Solheim, president and CEO of Ping, to do the honors of presenting the trophy. John? Thank you. Wow. That is Thank phenomenal you. golf. The Solheim Cup is back in the hands of the USA.